Hello and welcome to another cast for the GSI 2 vs 2 tournament. This time a game between Ghost of X-Front and Pandi Jumbo. It's the second game and I choose this game because it's uh, kind of interesting. It's on a very huge map on 38 perpendicular. I don't know if it's can be it's the biggest map we have in our map pool and uh, well it's usually played for in 3 vs 3 or 4 vs 4 uh, but uh, maybe it's kind of unusual to play in a 2 versus 2. So um, there are some differences, or you have to play those maps differently, I guess, than usual. Um, I would say um, planes are way more powerful than on small maps because of the lack of AA, and maybe the same with um, helicopters. Uh, it's hard to cover all the airspace um, with ground AA. You have man pads which are kind of good against helicopters but just have a range max of 2800 meters and you have um, the huge uh, heavy anti-air systems which have a max range 4000 uh, what is 500 or 3000 something so it's like but that's mostly just covering one sector so you need a lot of AA if you really want to um, do it with uh, the ground AA uh, so I would say um, fighters are way more important on this on this um, map, and yeah, let's see. Uh, there's already a ping of Droid. Droid and Old Manula are playing for Panti Chombu. Uh, by the way, Old Manula has a very nice uh, YouTube channel. You can take a look there. Uh, I put some um, uh, links of uh, YouTubers from our tournament in the announcement channel so take a look there and you can also find like god and all the other youtubers so uh, they are playing uh, on the red side they choose the decks um, red dragon moto and eastern block mech and i was a little surprised when i saw this um, deck choices because uh, on this map you can kind of expect uh, super heavies uh, that someone plays super heavies uh, we have very wide open space here to, between Golf and Foxtrot. We have wide open ranges here on Echo and also on Bravo. And you have just a town flight more or less here between Delta and India. And we have maybe town flights here between Bravo and Echo, but well, more common it's between here. So um, a, a super heavy can dominate the map. But on the other hand, um, the map is very huge and you need a lot of units to spread out so it makes sense to play to, to have vision so it makes sense to play cheaper units just to have something everywhere a little bit and uh, then focus maybe on some more heavy units where you want to push or where you have to defend um, but yeah um, they choose mechanized and moto moto is fast and uh, mechanized is a little more slow but i was surprised that the mechanized guy is playing on the right uh, left side here so maybe going for india delta and these towns and the motor guy is going to the left side where it's usually an open field and if his opponent um plays super heavy he has kind of a problem then he has to answer with uh, with planes which are more powerful but if he uses the smokes and and stuff like that wisely it will be very hard to kill. But well, we will see how it turns out in the end. On the blue side, we play with um, uh, Ghost of X Front, with the players Ghost and Axis. Ghost is playing Israel normal, and Axis is playing Norad Moto, I guess. Yeah, should be. Yeah. And uh, so they, it's uh, kind of more expected that Israel is going to the left and Moto is going to the right. It seems like the map was picked by uh, Panti Chombo because they already have a, a fixed point here of Droid. Um, let's see what they have, what surprise they have for the for the blue team here. And yeah, let's start with the game. So the team start and immediately the first fighters coming out to snipe some helicopters or something, and a bomber, two bombers behind. So let's see what they wanted to. To do it, they're going for the ping. Oh, and Ghost and Axis. Oh, Ghost is playing uh, two fighters as well. 
at least one fighter and is going to defend the push going for the bombers and they access re uh, reacted really nice stopped his units and the bombs go into nothing and they shoot down the the fighter and the kerner survived kind of lucky uh but uh yeah good reaction of ghost but he is slowed down a lot here he tries to land here in the city it's also ghost and here the dead push there's a longbow but there's not really a high value target he has to be careful there's an hq7 the shilka he can out outrun or like uh, from the distance here he is dropping some infantry i hope it's not a maglan because the maglan can't do anything against the units here it's a maglan as soon as the units are inside the town the maglan will be killed very easily maybe it's the wrong choice of units and maybe it's way too aggressive because they took the wrong path here and eric's is not a good choice here as well as soon as they are panicked they have a, a horrible uh, um, ability to hit targets yeah that was way too aggressive maybe from access here and here he's also way too defensive he had to push push his uh, infantry at least in this town and here to secure the sector uh, and he kind of forgot about them it seems like immediately there's a night hawk coming for the infantry but no he's going for the transports yeah maybe that's the most yeah, killed a lot of them maybe that was the most uh, dangerous in this part meanwhile blue is pushing here in the mid oh the barrack shot were shot down here by the hq7 and this the man pads but they push here there's not a lot, a lot of infantry and there's a lot of UBA uh, in the town, but he shouldn't. Well, it seems like they want to push for the for the for the Juliet sector, but they shouldn't really uh, care about what's what's here inside, because uh, I mean it's just UBA and I mean they can't do much. You can just lose here your your unit unnecessarily. Okay, let's see. The pass is going very deep. Red is pushing on the left side. Very nice. I mean they're motorized so they have to do something with their speed and in the middle it's kind of a standoff for the moment the dab is here in the middle he shot down a helicopter mm -hmm. maybe it was a transport here for the Spezialaufklärer okay let's see the Magach is still in the open we really should try to save that one it's at least 70 100 points get it away put it in the in the tree line here and try to repair it it's really important the Macbeth Machbet are um, way too far behind. The same for the Avengers. And yeah, it seems like they have a fight here. The Recon are way too, too, too far back. Because the other units are kind of blind for the moment now. Okay, the, the parts are working here. And now the Su-25 coming, that's what I mean. Uh, they have to kill the, the tanks. But it's it's going directly for the Machbet and kills at least one. That was a good choice, but well, just one, maybe two would have been better. The Bison is going for the base. Now the seed is coming. Machbet still has a radar on. Ah, that's a very unnecessary loss again. Okay, let's see what's what else is going on there. Two Mi-24 here. The Dab should could, should easily kill them. But they're not doing anything for the moment and the right side he just proves you know just send your your infantry there see what's going on uh, your your transports and uh, yeah he gets a lot of information that he's way too defensive so he can push forward with his infantry here he secured also this little uh tree line here seems like x is a little bit uh too busy with his with his stuff for the moment yeah okay infantry is coming and the, and the rest of the units are pushing to the sector they even had to move the cv because there was a bison going to the base yeah but now there's a lot of planes coming and again a bomber and a kurnas kurnas way too deep oh that's a, a huge loss a lot of points for nothing again and the j7 is going for i don't know very deep again Seems like he lost, uh, he forgot about this unit. Um, nicely, he pushes on the left side with all his red units. 
that can cause a lot of trouble for blue if they don't see them. Now, now there's a ping of ghost. Yeah, they have to do something against that. For the moment, a helicopter would be fine because there's not much AA and yeah, it's already coming, I guess. The now they are pushing for the home sector and there's he put some concours and the concours just kill the Avengers. And now the, the leopards are super weak. Uh, super, super, uh, they have no defense against planes anymore. Yeah, and there's a Su-25 already coming though. So it should be an easy pick. And also the Vader, like without any cover now. Yeah. Well, that's it with the push, no? Lost a lot of units, some units like kinda silly, or not silly, but uh, um, unnecessary. And uh, didn't win much, maybe Echo, this side of Echo. And he has control of the green line, but he has really to be careful what's going on here. So Axis is moving the base CV, maybe the two me helicopter saw it. Yeah. And uh, again a Nighthawk for the infantry here in the middle. Here you can really see like it's easy for for the Nighthawk to, to uh, engage targets. It's seen very late. Ah, but he lost, lost line of sight. Axis has to be way more carefully with, with his micro and his... Uh, okay, switches targets here for the modus Drake. Yeah, well, it was maybe the only thing he saw. But he also bombed his own units. Damn. That was unlucky. The last bomb lost line of sight and went directly into the into his own units. Okay, then another corner is coming. For what? Again, nothing. It's not focusing anything. Ah, uh, I'm not going for the base CV. No, neither. I really fear he will lose his corners as well. So now they engage here with the with the push of Old Manula. Now the bombs are dropping. Kind of late. Okay, at least he didn't lose it this time, but it was kind of close. And uh, yeah, they lost the helicopter here, so now they know that there's something go going on on this side. Maybe the Kunas would have been a better choice to use here, but well, for me it's easy to see. And uh, maybe he didn't have, have a good vision. Okay, the T-72 is pushing in the middle without cover and without sight. There should be a scout nearby, but well, it's a huge map. And they made a foothold into Delta. That's a huge thing. There's LSTR, so they have kind of coverage against helicopters. Uh, Granato made against infantry and what is directly cheap to, help, to, hold, uh, to hold the line. Okay, so uh, push now on the left side to the home sector. Mm -hmm. They should be able to go into the building and then, well, it's maybe not um, super... Um, dangerous for the home sector but it's annoying and you have to put a lot of forces here they go out of the that you lost the helicopter again um, you had to put put a lot of points here and it costs you time and then you're unsecure what's behind because uh, you can't you afterwards you can't just simply drive to the to this town because you have to expect something everywhere here now and uh, yeah the good thing is they didn't spot a fob or something, so they don't lose a fob. Nighthawk bombs the Gongo and you. And well, the Iglas are now out of ammunition. That's a problem. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here the... Yeah, they lost the, 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 the infantry here. So this is for golf. It looks kind of good here. There's not much in this tree line, so maybe just send forward one transport, a cheap transport, just to see what's what's the answer from the tree line, or just send it around here to see what's going on. Also for, for red, it's a problem. Problem they don't know what's going on with blue here, so um, yeah. But uh, I mean, they send more infantry now for this for this uh, side, so I guess they keep them busy. That's good. In the middle, um, they push. They put a CV into Echo. They really have to uh, access, uh, but it's not covered against the helicopter. There's the depths. Yeah, the depths are now pushing. And J7 is now going for the corners. Didn't shoot it down, but that was close. 
good. Now red is pushing on the right side even more. Mochi straight here against Erix. The problem with the Erix, I don't wouldn't choose them. They have uh, um, uh, they are guided, so you have to have vision on what you shoot. And as soon as they are panicked, their the accuracy goes down very very much. And they have also a minimum range, so in town fights they can hold the line when they're in the first building. But afterwards, it's really now they are just shooting with their, well, they also run out of ammunition, they're just shooting with their main gun and that's not a really good one. So, um, yeah, I don't know why they, he choose, maybe he should rethink to, to put the Eriks in his, in his uh, deck. And he really, he invests more into Bravo right now. This could, should go either here or here, there they are kind of lost. Okay, now they bomb the CV. Survived barely. That's the problem with the cheap CVs. Um, I mean, if you invest like um, 10 points more, you get a CV with 10 HP or even with a little armor. So I really recommend that because it's the, the cheap CVs in the front line, not a good choice. Now red pushes here in this town. As soon as they got there, it's like really hard for them to another, another uh, uh, foothold for, for red into echo so um, yeah I don't know if they have seen that and now they push the tree line in the middle Maglan run out of ammunition the door run as well yeah good push off from, from red and there's not really anything that there, there could be a tank one tank would be enough to hold them to hold the line for the moment but there's nothing for the moment the Nighthawk where is he going for Maybe a split? No. Yeah, maybe the best target, the UBA, a cheap infantry. Is also the UBA. Okay. Like lots of cheap infantry, that's a good a good gameplay. Okay, wipes out all the sixty. Well good bombs. And as you can see, really hard to defend for the red team. They had to have a, a fight nearby. But they are way too late now. Okay, the dabs are now pushing in the mid, looking for the CV. The Lassur is going for them. And on the right side, who really has to put more money on the right side. And it's very lucky that the Cooper didn't were, were not killed by the LSTR. Now another push with each, with, just with the transports. There's nothing much access can do here against it. He has to unload his Eriks, but again, Eriks are the wrong choice here. I mean, if you really want to have Eriks um, against vehicles, you should play Highlanders here. Like, they have the same weapon. And uh, oh, if they didn't saw the Gong Bong, you just lost another recon tank here. You should really go for Highlanders or something. They can hold a house or a building way better than the Eriks. And uh, yeah, I don't know how much is an Eriks. 15, the Highlanders are 20. So there's not, 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 not a big difference between both. Okay, as we can see, Red is still doing trouble here. They, can, they had to bring Canadian Airborns. They had to bring Chan Hanim. Uh, like shock infantry to get them out and now they have to walk all the way just to be sure that there is not not another threat or not another um, sneaky stuff here so it's really annoying for the blue team they didn't even find all the units of old manula yeah but well they bring more units to the side that's good and they are already 230 points uh, in front so um, yeah it's going well for the red team kind of unexpected and now they even push for Delta. Mm -hmm. There's the Eriks. The Eriks are not shooting now on, on the Modus Stretsky in the same building. Yeah. That's the problem with the Eriks. Maybe there's better to use something like Tekumskope or something. Uh, they sh fire and forget. Uh, but the Eriks, mm, I don't know. I'm not happy with this choice. Okay. Red is pushing in the middle. It's good to go for this town, I guess. Mm -hmm. And also the tree line here. 
So they make a lot of trouble with all the cheap units and all over the map. And blue really has to think where they are fighting against 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 uh, red because there's so much going on. And they have no heavy AA. They now use a Kurnas to fight against the... Um, no, the Kurnas is going for the UBA. It's an, again a very ex expensive unit, very good also, but uh, some cheap bombers would seal the deal here, I guess. Um, you can just bomb more often, they reload faster, there's not a lot, as I said before, the AA. Oh, oh. And here's the CV going for Echo. I don't know, they forgot about the Highlanders, seems like. That can be very expensive. Yeah. Bam, CV is gone. Well, good use of the Highlanders here. Now they know that they are there. And here's another push of Old Manuda, just bringing in cheap units uh, to find the CV. A very good use of, of, of their cheap units. And the CV has just 1 HP left. Yeah, and it's got done. Again, uh, an armored, a, a tank CV or armored uh, uh, would, it, would have been much better and now the Eric's are fighting against UBA and the ZSL and uh, yeah I mean maybe they will win but um, again I'm not a fan of the Eric's you, you, you can see okay blue now tries to secure Foxtrot they have kind of control now about Foxtrot and, and their flank but they need more ice on the ground, more cheap units, and now a four stack of Rovate. That's really not a good idea. There's, it's just 10 points each, but you can use it easily with one bomb. And there's already, yeah, there's the J7, the perfect answer coming. Split them up. As soon as you unload, um, split them up and, and make a line from, from the left to the right side, just to, to make them more, spread them out and that one bomber is not enough to kill them all and now they are all gone 40 points like for nothing no i mean there was it was not even a challenge for for blue uh, for for red uh, it was a cheap 70 point uh, uh, um, aa so that's really really annoying and uh, the thing is like blue has nothing like that a cheap bomber they just have the corners and and the nighthawk and with a Nighthawk uh, against uh, five point units or, or something, it's it's way too vulnerable. Now the Highlanders fighting against infantry again. They unloaded too late. Unnecessary loss again of points. But, well, at all, red looks very fine. They now secure Delta. And blue has no control on the right side more or less. Just this tree line, but there's no AA. There's, there's an adets. Um, but they need infantry here. Red should have already pushed here, maybe. And the Nighthawk is bombing. Yeah. Don't use the Nighthawk or the corners like that. Just use them if they really have line of sight of the infantry or the transport. Otherwise, it's like a random bomber, and for that, they are way too expensive. Um, just bomb targets you can see. Um, and be very careful with what you bomb, because it's um, a, huge, a huge loss for you if you lose a Nighthawk or, or the um, or the Kunas. Okay, I think he has no idea that the UBA are here. And they can easily kill the blazer. Even them. Five point units. Mm, but they don't hit. Now. And the Maglan also have no chance against the UBA. Also, um, well, both teams just played one fob. But anyway, a little artillery helps. Just buy some LR MLRS artillery or something. If you push something, just just to stun the units, you know, it helps a lot. You know that there is a Highlanders, uh, put some um, bombs or something in, in, in advance on the on the building, so they are shaked, uh, shaken, and then you can easily, easier uh, enter to the buildings. But now it's like just a meat grind, no? Now red secures golf more with ADGMs and infantry. 
And now there's an, another very expensive unit coming to P10. Um, seems like Red already lost to HQ7, but uh, yeah. Should be very careful with that unit here. Okay, well, Red is still ticking, and they have the potential to put one more CV here into Echo, like here. And uh, one more CV into Delta, but they're already taking with plus one, so blue has to do something. They bring a CV to Echo now, they lost the, the CV here, so they bring it now here. Better choice. You can easily um, um, escape bombs here. And uh, yeah, they still hold the houses here on, on top. So it looks a little better, but still not good for, for Red. Again, Nighthawk. Bombing, nothing. Is he going for the CV now? Oh yeah, he's going for the CV. But with outline of sight and it's just a random guess and he hit it. Okay. That was a good use. But anyway, you should really concentrate now on the right side. Uh, now Ghost helps here. And it's really necessary because he already has tanks here and uh, there's just one Merkava against two T-72s, uh, four 272s. Um, he didn't even react yet. And there is also coming a CV already. Yeah. Because now it's a plus one for the blue team. Oh, they managed to... The Chan Hanim finally arrived here in the town, just in time. And yeah. Red now um, has, is a little bit in a disadvantage. Now push also into golf. There's an HQ7 against the P10. Yeah, a little bit too far in the back line. Also move the Maglan to reload, otherwise they're useless here. You have rec uh, Recon here, even though this Recon could be better positioned. Um, yeah, but now the P10 is intercepted by the HQ7. And, uh, well, in this moment, maybe it would have been a better idea not to fly away with the P10, the HQ7 already in range, and the missile was going towards the HQ7, so um, maybe it would have had a chance at least to kill the HQ7. But, uh, yeah, now he lost the P10 again with almost no impact. Kurnast is the immediate answer. Yeah, should be no problem for the for the Kunas. But even though it got hit critted once by the HQ7. If there would have been if this would have been unloaded, um well maybe they had a chance to make a, a kill. Okay, the Highlands again defended against the push of red. Against I guess they are real heroes here, Little and Lee. Good. They are pushing with the Rovade without any fire support and also the Maglan now. There should be a tank or something and they should really work with smoke here. The Shenaf is out of out of uh, fuel. Uh, but well, at least uh, Red is not taking yet. But now they have, a, have a, a CV on Delta. There's still the potential to put a CV in Echo. Don't buy it here. That's the third time you run into Highlanders. Why don't put it here? You have total control of this side here. If you place it here, an infantry CV, they will not spot it from here. So, or if you put it in the tree line here or here, you don't have to put it here in the, on this side. <laughs> but well, now the infantry pushes and the Highlanders are out of their Eric's, so they have nothing to defend against that anymore. Should be an easy deal. Okay. Although oh, the scrum is a little in the back, maybe put it one or two buildings in, in front. And you also should some cheap recon or tank here or like yeah, move away the 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 um the transport of your CV. If blue would have been able to sneak something around here and they spot the the, the um the vehicle here. They will immediately bomb and, and have a good chance to kill your CV. Move away the, the transport of your CV. Okay, now Red is even pushing here in this tree line. I mean, they cannot defend it against the uh, helicopters or uh, maybe even planes. 
Yeah. And the light riflemen, they are not they are not units to fight in forests. They have to be in like in a kind of open field or better they are better in defending buildings. And um, Yeah, it was kinda lucky that they hit the ZSL, but it was also because Old Manuel didn't care. <laughs> he just drove to it. And now he even has recons here. Close to the base. But well, uh, a simple helicopter should easily defend that. Okay, now we have here some tanks pushing. Mm -hmm. Well, Blue tries to get back into the, the sector here. The Eagle is going for the MiG very deep and finally hit it. Yeah, very good. Yeah, you can see how important it is have to have good um, interceptors. That was my dog, he's puking. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. On the left side, Blue kind of manages to um, get a foothold. Again, two Merkavas are pushing here without any cover. Buy a mortar, smoke your units here. It's super important. Not against the tanks, more against the um, against planes. We saw the Su-25, which is now on the right side, going for... Oh, the mixers maybe here um yeah but you have to expect that someone plays uh, um tank hunters no okay now they try to get a foothold back into the town yes yeah, so, so 25 here for these units is it's not a good it's not a good um choice i would say you have a good solid you have 30 modestreki here so they should be so they should easily hold the line here. And now they go for the mixers. No. Killed one. Ah, okay. And now here the cheap transports help to defend uh, against the infantry. Here's a wig against the mixers. Mixers shouldn't have a chance. Yeah. One HP. The wig is almost at full HP. And uh, Pandichombu is again ticking with plus two. And there's just 150 points left until they win the game. Now Blue really has to push on the left side and uh, find CVs, destroy CVs. They finally, Red um, managed to get back this building, so they have control over Echo. Pretty good. And they are close to lose another CV here in the in the, in, in Bravo. Again here, Droid could have just uh, put this Modestreiki in the building next to it and the other Modestreiki here, one building forward and they should have already killed the Eagle. No, oh no, Blue lost, lost the uh, Eagle um, right now and Red drives right into the Highlanders. Don't move the Highlanders. Uh, no, they missed. One HP. Well, that was close. But there's the Apache coming, that should be no problem for the Apache. Yeah. At least they put the CV in an unusual spot, so for the moment it's safe here. Okay, another push from Blue here for the for the buildings. They have to find the CV. It's a armored CV, good choice. And yeah, also move away your, your transport here again. Now, but they push on the left side. But they stop for whatever reason. Go forward with the Makavas. Now you have you 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 have no time. You have to go for for the units. You have to go for the CV, and you have to bring your own CV as well. And you have even AA light AA with you, at least something against the um, against helicopters. So move the Makava forward. You have really no time. You have maybe one or two minutes left. And they already bring a CV here for Foxtrot. Red again was able to sneak some units here into, into the sector. Where are they going? Put them here, just unload them here in the building, something. It doesn't matter if it's Golf or if it's Foxtrot, it's the same amount of points. Oh, did they lose the CV here? Yeah. Super annoying. 
Yeah, no defense for the CV. There's a Ricky here, but what is the Ricky here doing? I mean, he can't fight. He doesn't see much because this is already um, visible. It's kind of unnecessary. And they don't react right. Just put the CV here into the town and it's good. Now the Su-25 is coming. They make better working against it. Ah, and they lost it against the Shinov. But anyway, it's now it's a plus three tick, and they are almost at the base here with a few units. Yeah, that's it. Well, some really um, now the Merkavas are, are are attacking. It's a little too late. Now they have forgot. They were they have not been here like a minute ago. Well, you can really really see like um, on big maps it's. Um, very important to have a lot of units, cheap units. Um, planes are really strong, but it's still important to have the right planes and the right um, composition of cheap and expensive units. And uh, it's nice that one team chooses to play on this big map. Uh, it was for me a little surprise outcome after I've seen the, um, the deck choices, but well, the winner is right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good game of both teams. And there was a not that close, but some interesting pushes, which, which could have then been done better in, in, in some ways. But well, uh, it's easy to say that in the retrospective, no? from my point of view. Well, again, uh, big maps need Maybe it's a good idea to put like two cards of anti-air units in your uh, of good fighters okay, in, in your deck, maybe even three. And um, well, cheap bombers are more effective on big maps with less AA. So you should consider that. And yeah, you need a lot of then you also need a lot of recon to uh, to see what you're bombing especially with the kunas and with the with the nighthawk and um, you should also like consider playing well from my point of view if you play against better teams maybe it's a good idea to choose smaller maps from your side because if you have a if they have a bigger or if a, if your opponent has a better micro they will be um, uh, in, in, in a better oversight game sense, they they will have a bigger advantage of uh, about you on on a big map. On the other hand, you can, if you have a an, a, a tactic, a game plan in in advance, you can um, play that or do that easier on big maps. So like the push of blue was a little unlucky that they didn't um, get into the home sector, but then. Even if they were able to, to cap Juliet, they had no CV to bring units by their own. So with time, there's the second spawn of, of, of red. With time, they will be easily pushed out again. So I don't know if it was a good idea to push for the home sector. Maybe it was, would have been a better idea, idea to go for Echo. Um, but yeah, that's what you have to think about in advance. Uh, I hope you liked this game. It was kind of interesting and I hope to see you in the next cast. So, see you!